we say our misery is our ministry. We're called to work in marriages. We're called to share what God did in our marriages, what family life is doing, the tools that they have, the, the help that they're providing. It's just a huge passion for us. I gotta tell you, the resources are easy to use. And then when you see the things that are happening in these couples, it makes it pretty clear it's the right thing to do. I think that the resources from Family Life are so tremendous. I just had this experience in my small group. We were talking about that, and I mentioned that we had taken two of our granddaughters on the passport to purity, and, and one of the members of my small group said, well, that Family Life, they just, they just have something for every part of your life. And so I, I look for this to just keep continuing to grow. I fell in love with Kathy almost immediately because her, her inner beauty and the marriage retreat that we went to, the family life retreat, it brought a lot of that back up. You know, think back of how it started and what happened then and what drew you to where you are today in your journey. And to watch her faith grow has just, it's, it's really inspired me because I've seen what a change it makes in her life. When you look at every person you talk to as a potential assignment from God, and, and Tim does. And I'm going to tell you, ultimately, do you want to? Because because we have to answer as Christians for our words and our works, our deeds. And if he says, "I put that guy in your face three or four times, and you never talk to him about me." I don't want to have that conversation with my father. <laughs> We give it a lot of world missions, but we also have kind of accepted that our mission is right here in our own community. You know, there's a lot of unchurched people in this community. When you think about that we have a potential to impact generations that we don't even know, and that what they'll talk about at our funeral, our granny and papa made some, some, yeah. some choices that are affecting our kids. And I think that is huge just a huge thing, because when it comes down to it, what do you get to take to your grave? That business you don't. The money that we give is effectively used for the mission. And the mission, of course, said five times in the Bible, baptize and make disciples. So we feel like that is being accomplished. So we evaluate uh, our giving by what the administration's costs are, is there word and deed, and how effective is it? The money that he's made, he wants, he wants to use it as, as well as God would want us to use it. So this planning for um, our legacy and for our future, I mean, especially these last five years, he's been trying, he's been trying to figure this out. We just couldn't get anywhere because we knew we didn't want to leave everything to our kids because we didn't want to ruin them or our grandkids. We wanted to give them part of our estate, but the rest of it we wanted to, we wanted to make sure it went on for generations. We went to a donor getaway in Vail, Colorado. We went through a meeting and this person talked to us and really took all the details of what we were wanting to do and then she said she had to talk to some of the crew attorneys and put the deal together, and they put a proposal together for us for free. And I'd been spending thousands of dollars with attorneys, and they heard what we said. And they got it all down there, and then when we, when we got finished with it, it was exciting, because I really felt like we had some, a workable plan, and I didn't even want to talk to the attorney, because I thought holes would get shot in it. Well, when the attorney finally got involved with it, he, was, he embraced it. And it's a plan I understand, too. Yeah. I, I, when we were on the phone going through it, it was something that was easy for me to understand. And they had charts and graphs science. and they answered all of our questions and we never got a bill for it. And we didn't even realize all, what crew did. Like for example, they have a DAF, which is a donor advisory fund. They don't charge anything to maintain it. It was just like, you couldn't have prayed for it to come out better. It was literally God showed up and helped take this burden off my shoulders. Mm -hmm.